Hey, what's up and welcome back to my channel. Now today I'm going to be giving a review for the McFarlane Tours DC Multiverse The Batman Who Lasts figure. So as you can see, this is the figure itself in the box. And I still actually haven't read that particular storyline because I know it's actually within like the Dark Knight Metal like storyline that's going on like in the comments, you know. I plan on reading it though eventually, but that is what this particular figure is actually based on. Now this also comes with the third and final piece of the uh, Build the Batmobile, or Build a Piece, you know, figure, you know. So I think that's kind of cool. So anyway, I'm going to just get into this right now. So as you can see, this is the uh, the figure, the Batman who laughs. And I know he's like a combination of like Batman and the Joker, if I'm not mistaken, you know. So as you can see, that's how it looks on the inside, like the accessories that he has. It also says, it read that, like the storyline, or the, the one that it's based on, The Batman Who Lasts. Because this does actually have like a, a book, you know, a graphic novel collection, which I do actually plan on reading, you know. And on the back you see like a picture of the, uh, that's how the actual cover looks too, for the, the book that it's based on. Now this is where he still is actually drawing my attention too. This is actually like the third piece, you know, so I actually got these in order. And I wasn't really trying to, you know. <laughs> now another thing too, this is another figure that I know is wasn't like in stores like in Walmart or Target I could not find that this in stores even like the Nightwing and Batgirl figures you know I could not find them you know but I actually did find this one in the actual GameStop when I actually went to a GameStop you know I actually found this in the store you know I even saw them have like a Nightwing in that bar that had Nightwing on the way because I had ordered it you know so it does appear that they are in a GameStop store you know so you can't find these like in GameStop you know but it might be kind of rare but as far as like Walmart and Targets go mm mm like the bad girl Nightwing and this particular figure, I haven't seen them yet. Now the other ones, you know, like the Superman action comic styles and Batman, uh, Detective comic styles, the one based on anime, the Harley Quinn, you know, and so on. All of them are in Walmart and Target stores. I see them like every time, you know, but these were there. They appear to not be in there. Like these three, the ones, basically the ones with the uh, the Batmobile with the build a piece. I'm not really seeing them like in local like Walmart or Target. If anything, apparently they are in GameStop stores, you know. If you choose not to order them, you know, you can probably find these in a GameStop store. So, again, as you can see, it's like the, uh, you also see the other three figures that, like I said, that actually contains the build a piece. You know, you have the Batgirl, then you have like, the other uh, Nightwing right here. Uh, it's usually just the background insert that comes with the figure. You see the card up here in the stand, too, as well. See, this here is the, uh, the Batman Who Last figure. <laughs> now... He does come with the usual stand, the DC logo on and the peg right there. Now I do notice I have trouble getting this from the stand so far, but I might eventually get it right, you know. So I just decided to use the stand for him, you know. So it seems to stand him pretty well. Now when I measure him, he's about, uh... This one is almost about 8 inches if you count like his ears. And I guess being that he's on the stand too as well, you know. And of course, here's like his car, you know, which I am kind of curious about because this is kind of, you know, a popular character, you know. That's the cover of it right there. So I can say I probably eventually will pick this book up too as well. That's what this is based on, the Batman Who Laughs. That's what they actually are calling it. Now on the back, it gives like his source material. It says that he, um, this is based on the Batman Who Laughs issue one from uh, the comics and this was released in 2019. Now his real name is Bruce Wayne of Earth 22 and his height is 6 foot 2 and his weight is 190 pounds. I think that's kind of cool that he's the same height as like the other Batman, the actual Batman, you know, that we really know, you know, but like his weight is actually different, you know. And you can tell B Ben that he has like a slimmer size, so his weight is actually different than the other Batman because I think the other Batman is, what is it, 210 if I'm not mistaken? But yeah, no. Uh, this one it says that he is born from the nightmares of the dark multiverse. The Batman who laughs is a hybrid version of the Batman and the Joker from Earth-22. Twisted, this twisted version of Batman was created when nanotoxins from the Joker's heart were released into Bruce Wayne's bloodstream, causing the Dark Knight's perfect mind to merge with the warped psyche of the Clown Prince of Crime. He soon became part of an attempt to plunge the entire multiverse into ultra-violence, chaos, and utter darkness. After being initially defeated, the Batman who last managed to survive and remains a threat to the greatest heroes of the multiverse. So that's kind of interesting getting like his backstory, you know. And like I said, I do plan on uh, going ahead and giving that a shot and I actually read the actual story, you know. <laughs> 
So I guess one of the first things I'll talk about for our accessories go is this actual build a piece of piece, you know. <laughs> As you can see, this is the third and final piece which would complete the Batmobile. And like I said, I wasn't even trying to actually do these in order, but somehow I managed to actually get these in order. And as you can see, the, uh, the Batman who laughs, his piece is the actual third piece. As you can see, like right here, it even tells you that you have like the third piece, even on front of the box, you know. It even tells you, you know, that it's the third piece. So I think that's kind of cool. So what I do, I guess, is just actually take the uh, the two pieces I already have, you know, from uh, Batgirl and Nightwing. And then again, you just uh, push them together. You know, this is the piece that came, you know. So then you just push them on together. And you can tell you have it on when you hear that, that's that snapping sound. And voila, there's the Batmobile. <laughs> that must have been, that is awesome, you know. I think that is cool. I like how you just like the, uh, the face on it. That's awesome. And it does have like that, that weather look. So you have like a a nice looking Batmobile. That's pretty cool. Like I said, I like how it has that, that uh, weather and warm look. Like it's been through like some action and stuff, you know. It's awesome. Even on the back of it, you know. Just like the, uh... I forget what they call that, that the thrust thing, that exhaust stand, I forget what it's called. But the wheels roll too as well, so you can actually roll this around and so stuff. That's kind of awesome. <laughs> this is cool. I, I probably have some fun with this, you know, as far as like pictures go, you know. So yeah, I think this is an awesome little thing to have, you know. <laughs> now when you actually measure this Batmobile, one thing I do know is about it, it's actually about a... Uh, Almost eight inches. It's actually seven inches, like a length. When you measure it, as you can see, <laughs> so you can see one accessory being there, like kind of like similar. He has like a uh, these were here. Now I don't know what these actually are called. I don't know if these are like sifts or sides, you know, or just knives, you know. But here's one right here. And the handle is like a rubbery type material. And the blade itself looks like it's been worn and stuff, so I think that's kind of cool. So you don't have to worry about these breaking because they're like rubbery, you know. That should probably force it, you know. Then he has like this other one too as well right here, which has like this hook on it. And there's the the Batman who lasts with like his weapons like in his hand. So you can see, yeah. Uh, like I said, I don't know to really call these. I don't even know if I have them really right, you know. Cause I guess you could like underhand them too if you want, you know. But yeah, there they go. So that's probably how I would have him displayed, like with these weapons like in his hand. Now what I'll do is talk about the articulation of the Batman who lasts figure. Now I must admit, like I said, I had trouble getting him to stand. So I actually do have to use the actual stand, seem like, it, to get him to stand, you know. But this is how he looks, you know. And I'm not too familiar with him, you know. Cause I haven't read any of those stories yet, but I do plan on it. But that's how he actually looks. You can see he has like, that Joker-type mouth right there with the teeth, you know. Now I know it's like, I don't know if that's like intentionally, but like his paint around his mouth, it's just like it's kind of smeared, like the actual like red lipstick, you know. But I don't know if that's actually how he is, like in the comments, you know, but he has like this smeared look. I could see him looking like that, you know, where it's actually smeared, you know, that would kind of make sense, you know. Like the paint isn't like a uh, perfect. And he has like these ears up here. Now these, I know, are kind of like rubbery, as you can see. Now his head, they can kind of turn. You can turn it, but I'm not going to really force it because he has like this collar thing right here in the way, you know. So he does have like arc in his head, you know, you can look up. And, you know, you can look down. So it it, it is like movable, you know. You just got to be careful because this arc thing, this like this cape thing he has around his neck, this collar. The spikes seem to be kind of like solid, you know, like they wouldn't break unless you're forcing it. I like the belt straps on that looks kind of cool. Like I said, I'm just not too familiar with this particular character, you know. And he has like this, this cape thing right here with his skirt. I like how it looks kind of like raggedy and jagged, you know, it's, like, it's kind of cool. And I believe it's probably why I have trouble getting him to stand. These boots he has, you know, they're kind of like real thick looking. 
But they do have like a like like a ankle pivoting like and stuff like the hedge and all that. It does have all that kind of stuff in it, you know. So I probably if I kept messing with it, I probably can get them to stand, you know. So his arms can be bent up like that. So he has like good arc in his arms and stuff. You can do the split. He doesn't have like an ab crunch on thing. And uh, the knees, they can be bent too. Because you can't bend like the knees. Like I said, a lot of times you do have to mess with these figures and then they'll, they'll stand. You know, you can't get them to stand. <laughs> so he does have like, like arc like in his knees and like a hinge in his knees basically. So like I said, if I kept messing with him, I'd probably can get him to stand, you know. Yeah, as you can see, here's my uh, McFarlane toys. I guess you could say Batman family collection because I do have Superman, you know, <laughs> based on Action Comics 1000. So this is a uh, Batman the animated series, Batman based on Detective Comics issue 1000, the Nightwing figure, Batgirl, and then you have Harley Quinn, and then you have the uh, Batman who laughs. Now so far I really am enjoying these figures from uh, McFarlane Toys, you know. I think these are awesome, you know, and I did need like some like Batman based figures, you know. So I am kind of excited. I'm like I said, as always, I'm glad that he does have the license for these figures now. So I'm definitely looking forward to like the other figures that he puts out too as well, you know. <laughs> there is the uh, McFarlane Torres DC Multiverse, the Batman Who Last figure. And this is again, uh, I guess you could say an amazing figure. I'm not too familiar with the actual character, you know. But uh, I do plan on actually reading that particular story now. I kind of know it was like Dark Knight's Metal too, if I'm not mistaken. But the actual Batman who laughs like a storyline period, I do plan on actually picking that one up and reading it, you know. So look forward to me reading that eventually, you know. So yeah, uh, this comes with the third and final piece of the, uh, if you're going in order with him, you know, you don't have to go in order, you know, if you're building like the Batmobile, you know. And again, this figure, you know, these aren't apparent, if my opinion, from what I'm seeing, these aren't in like Walmart or like Target stores, you know. If anything, you you can find it in GameStop. It is officially known from, from what I saw that these are in GameStop stores, you know. <laughs> but like, it turns out, you know, you probably have to actually prepare yourself to actually order these, you know. But these are actually like in you know, the GameStop stores, but like Walmart and Target, uh -uh. It's like they're not in there at all. Now, eventually, maybe, and I am noticing that it are it is the ones with the actual builder piece, you know, that seem to be kind of hard to find and aren't available like in Walmart and Target stores so far. Eventually, they probably will, you know, but it does seem to be the more the ones that aren't showing up. Now, I know like uh, the Arrow figure I haven't seen yet either. That doesn't have a builder piece on, thank you, know. Now, that I've been noticing, I haven't been seeing either as well, you know. But anyway, I definitely recommend picking these up, you know, especially if you're trying to build a piece because, like, the little Batmobile that you do put together in the end is like, an awesome piece, you know. Uh, please leave a comment and uh, subscribe too as well.